Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I am going to teach you the compound words uh, which are given in uh, 12th English. And before we are going to learn the compound words, we should uh, learn its uh, definition. Uh, let me explain you the meaning or definition of the compound word. Two or more words put together to convey the uh, meaning of a new word are called uh, compound words. And uh, before that, we should understand the parts of speech. The parts of speech plays an important role in compound words. In the compound words, you can find uh, noun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, etc. So here, uh, let us uh, discuss the noun at first. Noun is a naming word. It refers to the name of a person, place or thing like a chair, car, man, doctor, etc. So the combination, the uh, first let me explain you the noun plus noun combination. Uh, school by, here you can find two nouns, school and by, airport, postman, post office. Uh, in these examples you can find two nouns. Therefore this combination is called noun plus noun. Then uh, noun plus adjective. You can find one noun and another one adjective. Homesick, here uh, home is a noun, sick is an adjective. Uh, this is a homesick is a uh, noun plus uh, adjective uh, then uh, daybreak here uh, noun plus verb noun day is a noun break is a verb so now daybreak daydream uh, daydream uh, these are all called uh, noun plus verb then next uh, adjective so first of all you have to understand what an adjective is adjective is a word which is uh, uh, describing a noun and it is placed before a noun, pronoun and gerund. Uh, let me give you an example. Adjective plus adjective combination. Red hot. Red is a adjective. Hot is an adjective. Red hot adjective plus adjective. And um, uh, this is uh, called uh, adjective plus adjective. Then adjective plus noun. A gentleman. Uh, here gentle is adjective. Noun is a noun. Then a clear cut. Uh, clear is adjective, cut is a noun, this is uh, adjective plus verb. Then let us move on to the uh, verb. So verb is called an action word. It refers to the action uh, such as uh, come, go, speak, write and so on. They are all called main verbs. Uh, let me give you an example. Verb plus noun, watchman. Here watch is a uh, verb and uh, noun, this man is a noun. Then next uh, let us move on to the adverb. Uh, adverb adverb answers the question um, how, when, where. Adverbs of manner, place, time. Uh, here, overload. Over is um, adverb, load is a noun. That is uh, adverb plus verb. Then let us move on to the uh, preposition. Preposition is a word which is used uh, before a noun, pronoun, gerund, and uh, shows the relationship of another words in the sentence. Preposition plus uh, noun in present and out present here in and out are prepositions present is a noun then preposition plus gerund gerund is ing word it ends with ing coming going speaking writing uh, for example incoming outgoing in this example in and out are preposition coming is a gerund so these are all some of the examples for the uh, compound words and they are given in the uh, 12th english so it is very very important to go through the textbook thoroughly several times so that you can have a clear understanding. I have explained you everything in detail. Uh, I hope that you must have understood this. Um, if you like my video, you can uh, share it with your friends. And uh, thank you so much for watching my video.